So we are now entering the Fulton Market District. This whole area has become uh, just totally rebuilt. It used to be an old dismal area of meat, meat, uh, meat market area, uh, fishmongering, butchering, but now it has been regentrified. Google is just down the road there. Um, and uh, I'm walking by no I'll come back by here later and hopefully they'll let, let me so in. this is what it looks like when there's nobody around so this is the day after Neocon and uh, well you know beautiful view uh, outside and we'll just take a quick walk through here and my gimbal will rotate and show us some of the things going on. These are some private nooks and different arrangements. A media center, a desking system with uh, all the electrical down the, the center column. You saw the sit to stand areas. Looks like everything is kind of set up, sit to stand. And it looks like they have a new control mechanism and a new lock for a locker. It's probably a combination of a locker and storage, you know, a file that pulls out. And then they've got little private booths throughout. And we've seen a lot of that through Neocon. Big open table. see a little bit of the view some of the classic pieces here a little bit of interest a little fun fact these chairs here used to be made by Gunlock um, because of the steam bending. This was a couple decades ago. Not sure what that rail is. a power rail. And, uh, oh, just for kind of the open, loose seating area to provide power to it. And I think we're kind of at the end. So we'll just peek around the corner, see if there's anything interesting here. Nope, just some lockers. And uh, so now we have covered all the major showrooms in the Econ. So I did not realize there was a seventh floor, so I was on the sixth floor. So we'll walk through the seventh floor and then go down to the fifth floor and see what they have there. In the private office. It's like a wood acoustical divider. Just a really nice layout. A lot of light windows, 
on three sides, an atrium. Nice visual display and variety. We'll walk. Some of their adjustable height tables, built in electrical. Another one of the visual barriers. Of course, I have no idea what the product names are anymore. Um, but you will still have a good idea of what the showrooms are like. Okay, so why don't we go down to the fifth floor now. Okay, this is the fifth floor. has a much more residential feel to it, as you can see. Sampling of the chair displays. They even have the names of the chairs there. This has a much higher residential feel to it for sure, like walking into Haverty's Furniture Showroom. This looks like their education area. Ah, uh, the Noel Plattner table. Beautiful. Okay, so we have toured all three floors of Noel. Isn't it so much better when there's not 10,000 people all trying to see the same thing at the same time? So now you have it, the Noel showroom.